Imagine this, you are not just creating automation inside your browser in Comet, but you are actually controlling the entire desktop. No apps, no heavy software from that browser window. How good that will be like um, you are opening Premiere Pro and asking Comet browser to edit a video for you or any other software that you do not know how to run. In this video, I'm going to see if it is possible through Comet browser. And to try this, I'm going to use a browser based remote desktop application and let's see what happens. And since we know that the Comet browser is a Chromium based, so let me actually try none other than Chrome remote desktop. Okay, so here you can see I am already in Comet browser and let me type here Chrome remote desktop. And for your information, I actually already have done setup of it. And if you also want to know how you can, then do check out the video that I have added in the description of this video. Now here we have option of access my computer. So let me click on it. And here you can see I have two of my system up and running. So let me take my Mac actually uh, to the remote desktop. Okay. So I'm going to make a double click here. And then the password. Okay, so here I can see my Mac computer screen and now let's see if the magic of Comet browser work here as well. So here I asked or call the assistant and now I'm going to ask a few questions here. So I'm going to ask here, can it make double click on system folder? So let's see manually I can, but uh, let's see if it can. And here we can see the Comet browser have taken control and here it is trying to click on desktop area. Okay, so it was not able to and let me actually see if I can manually. Yes, manually I can. And now let me ask Comet browser if it can open any app. Okay, so I'm going to ask him to open Adobe Acrobat. Okay, so let me ask again Comet browser. Can you open Adobe Acrobat Reader from apps? So let's see if it can really make a click on all apps and can open it and seems like you know it is not that uh, competent so maybe uh, let me actually open this and now i'm gonna ask him to click here okay i'm gonna say i have opened the app drawer can you click on adobe now so basically what I'm trying to do is if we really can, you know, automate the whole desktop thing, that would be really awesome. You know, if we could ask AI to write code in Android Studio or, you know, do things for us. And it really scrolled. I saw, you know, that's really awesome. Oh my God. So what you are seeing is, you know, I would say nothing less than magic. Oh, but what exactly happened? And I'm going to ask, let's try once more. Try opening the Adobe Acrobat. So it have seen in the app drawer and then the comment need to look for Adobe Acrobat reader icon. I hope he should be able to find it. Again, it scanned the whole app drawer. And seems like, uh, you know, it did not. So I'm going to say something else now. Maybe you can directly type the app name and open it rather than looking for icon let's see if it can type okay so i don't think so that it is that competent as of today but i don't know who know you know after some time that we're going to see just like the automation um we can do using comet browser we may also able to see something that we can do in desktop so let me now again ask him another question can you open spotlight or can you open search using shortcuts so let's see if it can really utilize the shortcut. Okay, so it seems like um, it only can do certain mouse movement, but really it is not that competent. Now let me open Microsoft Word here manually. And now 
let's try opening or asking it if it can create something here for me can you write about youtube in this microsoft world that you can see on your screen hope it should at least this thing you know okay so it can see that microsoft uh word is there okay it have taken control that's great okay seems like uh it cannot unfortunately that's so pity but maybe in future we may able to see what do you think about this feature guys uh, do you want your just like the comment browser the entire desktop should be automated and let's say you know you do not know how to operate certain software and then you are asking your assistant to help you out with it share me your thoughts in comment down below and subscribe to technoholic for more such productivity related content and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye